Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss geometric mean and harmonic mean. So the formula of the geometric mean is x1, x2 to xn to the power 1 by n, where n is the number of data. Suppose x say 1, 3, 9. So geometric mean for this particular data 1, 3, 9 is 1 into 3 into 9 to the power 1 by 3. So 27 to the power 1 by 3 that is 3. Okay. So uh, we can use the log function log also to calculate uh, ge geometric mean. So g is equal to x1 x2 to xn to the power 1 by n. If we take log both side so 1 by n log x1 plus log x2 plus log xn ok so log g is equal to 1 by n summation of log xi where i is equal to 1 to n so if you take the anti log so anti log 1 by n summation of 1 to n log xi okay so geometric mean now merits of geometric mean it is rigidly defined based upon all the observations suitable for further mathematical treatment not affected much by fluctuation of sample give more weight to small item okay so the meaning of that give more weight to the small item the meaning of that suppose we have two types of mobile say mobile type 1 and mobile type 2 so in mobile one say say battery power is 1000 ram say 6 gb in mobile two battery power say 2000 and ram say 2 gb now if you if you calculate the uh, mean so the mean for this particular mobile is 503 and mean for this so type 2 it is 1001 okay now if you calculate the geometric so from the mean we can say so mobile 1 is better than mobile 2 okay now if you calculate the geometric mean for mobile 1 so this will be 1000 into 6 to the power 1 by 2 and for geometric mean say 2000 into 2 the power 1 by 2 so geometric mean for the first mobile it is 77.46 and here geometric mean for the second mobile it is say it is 2 so 63.25 okay now it is giving more weight to the 6 okay so with respect to so now if you simple mean so battery power is giving more weight okay this particular value is uh, uh, dominating this particular answer okay now in this case this value say minimum value is dominating the answer clear so that is the use of geometric mean now demerits now what is the demerits of the geometric mean so here the formula is g is equal to x1 x2 dot dot xn to the power 1 by n what happen if any value is 0 so if any value is 0 so geometric mean will be 0 what happen if x is equal to negative any any x value is negative so the answer of is imaginary so answer of gm is imaginary clear that is the limitation of geometric mean now we can see other applications suppose we want to find the population growth or the rate of interest or the construction of index number okay suppose uh, a rate of interest of year 1 say 10 percent year 2 say 12 percent year 3 say 13 percent so the average the, want to know average rate of interest 
so in this case gm is the appropriate one geometric mean is the appropriate one okay next uh, geometric mean for the weighted weighted geometric mean so for the weighted geometric mean or the geometric mean with the uh, frequency the formula is geometric mean is equal to x1 to the power w1 x2 to the power w2 to x3 to the power w3 by 1 by cubic summation of the w or in terms of frequency we can write x1 f1 x2 f2 to xn f to the power n 1 by summation of the frequency okay so in this way we can calculate the geometric mean now harmonic mean so what is harmonic mean so the formula of the harmonic mean is so formula of the harmonic mean harmonic mean is equal to 1 by 1 by n summation of 1 to n 1 by n i okay sorry 1 by x i now uh, if it is if uh, harmonic mean for the ungrouped frequency distribution or the group frequency distribution the formula is different so 1 by capital N summation of 1 to N Fi by Xi okay now suppose we have uh, three data suppose we have three data say 7 9 18 so harmonic mean for this particular data is equal to 3 by okay 1 by 7 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 18 okay so why 3 by so actually it is like this 1 by 3 1 by 7 1 by 9 1 by 18 okay now the formula is 9.69 okay now harmonic mean harmonic mean for the group data for the or weighted weighted um, harmonic mean is so in this uh, we can write 1 by n okay 1 by n f1 by x1 plus f2 to x2 to fn by xn okay where capital n is nothing summation of the frequency suppose x is 7 9 and 80 and frequencies are say 2 4 6 okay so so harmonic mean is 1 by 1 by 12 2 by 7 plus 9 by 4 plus sorry 2 by 7 4 by 9 plus 6 by 18 so the answer is 11.28 okay so it is 4 by 9 now when uh, we use the harmonic mean when the numbers naturally combine via the reciprocal for example combining resistance in a parallel electric circuit now merits of harmonic mean rigidly defined based upon all the observations and suitable for further mathematical treatments not affected by fluctuations of sampling give greater importance to small item now demerits if any observation is zero then the harmonic mean is infinite so if any value is zero so harmonic mean is undefined okay now the harmonic mean is better average when the numbers are defined in relation to some unit the common example is averaging speed suppose uh, we are going uh, 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 we have four 10 kilometers segments 
to trip now suppose we are going uh, a to b so a to d a to b b to c c to d now a to b the speed is say 40 kilometers per hour b to c say 85 kilometers per hour c to d say 30 kilometers per hour okay so what is the average speed now to calculate the average speed we have to calculate the harmonic mean so we can write 1 by 3 1 by 40 plus 1 by 85 plus 1 by now two more uh, graphical representations are there so uh, so that is called ojai ojai so what is ojai now uh, suppose we have a data group frequency say class cf say sorry frequency say 0 to 20 20 to 40 40 to 60 60 to 80 80 to 100 now the frequencies are say 2 4 8 3 1 so we can calculate the cumulative frequency there are two types of cumulative frequency less than cumulative frequency and more than cumulative frequency in less than frequency cumulative frequency you just add from the beginning so 2 plus 4 it is 6 6 plus 8 it is 14 14 plus 3 it is 17 17 plus 1 it is 80 okay now if it is more than cumulative frequency then 1 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 8, 12, 12 plus 2, 16, 16 plus 2, 18. Now, if you in this particular class, so uh, uh, how many data are there less than this particular class? 20 to 40. Or so, for that. Is two. so, 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And the values say 20, 10, okay, the values are there. Say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 10. Let's say 15, let's say 5, say 0 to 20, say it is 2, say somewhere here. 20 to 40, it is 6, it will be somewhere here. 40 to 60, it is 14, it will be somewhere here. 60 to 80, it is 17, it will be somewhere here, 80 to 100, it will be somewhere okay, so you can draw a curve for that, so this is the less than, less than cumulative curve, less than, less than cumulative frequency curve, okay, so, so this is nothing but called, it is called OJIF, okay, so similarly you can draw more than cumulative curve, so if 0 to 2 it is 18 20 to 40 it is 16 it is somewhere here 60 to 80 uh, sorry 40 to 60 it is uh, 12 it will be somewhere here so we can draw another graph we can draw we can draw another graph okay so this is nothing but more than it is nothing but more than cumulative frequency graph okay